Me and my best friend had an argument last year when we were alone at school. It was so bad we didn't want to talk to each other afterwards. I was really angry but told myself to calm down and find a way to work it out. I went over to her and said sorry. We talked about the argument and then she laughed and said what a silly thing it was to argue about. <laughs> Language is an important tool for managing how we feel in different situations and discussing feelings with others. Some young people do not develop language as expected and may not have the words or complex sentences needed to discuss their feelings. Our research for the Surrey Communication and Language in Education study, or SCALES, has found that 7.5% of children have such unexplained language difficulties, known as Developmental Language Disorder, or DLD. SCALES has tracked the language development of approximately 500 children with and without DLD from reception class up to year 8. We found that even at school entry, teachers reported that children with DLD had more symptoms of social, emotional and behavioural problems. At the end of primary school, when the children were aged 11, teachers reported that children with DLD had poor mental health outcomes, including higher rates of peer problems, conduct problems, attention problems and emotional problems. We also found that children with DLD had more difficulty identifying and explaining the emotions of others. When I get stressed, I can't talk, so it's hard for people to help me. I cry and I want to say stuff, but I just can't. Language is a fundamental skill for academic and social success. Children with DLD are therefore more likely to leave school with fewer qualifications and have more trouble finding employment relative to peers without DLD. This has been found in research studies around the world, in the UK, US, Australia, Canada, and countries like Singapore, where children learn more than one language. A supply teacher couldn't understand that I didn't know what a greenhouse was. I thought he meant green house, not a house made of glass. I couldn't explain it and he didn't have the patience to find out. This made me really stressed. So how good does language need to be to support good mental health? Our research suggests that there may be a minimum threshold of good enough language, beyond which having more words and more complex sentences isn't related to even better mental health. Instead, the risk for poor mental health is amplified when language deficits are most severe. Not all children with language difficulties will have poor mental health though. Other factors are likely to be important, like a family history of mental illness, low family income, and other developmental conditions like autism or ADHD. Parents and professionals should therefore carefully monitor the mental health of children with DLD so they can spot signs early. Currently, most adolescents that are referred to mental health services are offered talking therapies. Right now I need support with my anxiety. This is especially hard for me because people support you for talking. My CAMS worker is getting to know how to communicate with me. He checks what we've said, recaps it at the end, and takes a photo of what we write down so I can talk about it with my mum. It is really important that we ensure therapies are tailored to meet the needs of these vulnerable children.